Hello my lovelies, it's Val with another book review. So today I have The Scorpion Rules by Aaron Val. Yeah! You notice I don't have any pages folded over. Ooh, that's because I'm gonna do basically a spoiler free re review, like very few spoilers, so that everyone can watch it. Spoilers are gonna be slightly mixed in, but they're not gonna be things that are like life changing, just things that I found really important, really important for the book. So The Scorpion Rules takes place in our dystopian future where peace is held by an AI in command and he has basically set it up so that every royal, every person in charge has to have a child to be in charge and that child has to go to these camps where they'll be sacrificed if these people ever declare war on each other. Super interesting notion. And at age 18, they're sent off somewhere, they're sent back home, and then the power changes hands to the next person who has a child from the royal line. There are like six of these camps sort of for kids, so you can't just like go and capture a camp and get all the kids from the world. Um, they're basically set up by region, um, with a few from like other areas mixed together. Really interesting, it shows how the world could technically be divided. So we follow Greta, who is the Grand Duchess of Nova Scotia and the princess of the Panpolar area, which seems to be a mix of Canada, Alaska, Greenland, and part of the states. Basically, they own the Great Lakes and water is a huge issue in this post apocalyptic, basically, dystopian future. Everything changes when a new nation is formed after a war, and the people in the book find themselves with a new person. And basically this kid comes knowing he's gonna die. And so he just wrecks havoc on their entire society. It's a really strange read for me because I, I like going to different places, I like reading about new sceneries, and we're, we don't leave her little know what to call it. It's called something in here. I don't really know. I also just realized there's a bunch of scorpions and stuff on the cover of this book. In the, mixed in with the chair. Look at that. Look at the scorpions. There's little scorpions there. Look at that. It's a scorpion. Uh, so basically we don't leave the place at all and we're just stuck there. And I didn't really like that when I started reading and then I went out to the end of the book I was like, I don't want to leave now because it, it sets it up for a sequel and they're leaving and I'm just like, no, I want to I wanna stay here. This is a, this is so interesting, and yeah, uh, it's just, I really enjoy it. I think that Greta is basically kind of hooking up with this new kid, which sort of happens. There's a love triangle, but not a love triangle which we're used to, and I just want to say, this is kind of spoilery, but also, she's bi, and that is like the most wonderful thing ever. Like, I, <sighs> it's like Rick Riordan when he just made me go gay, I was like, yes, yes, yes. Yes, representation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So they had a bunch of representation because there's a bunch of people from like, there's a girl from Africa, there's a girl from China, there's people who are from North America, and it's just, it mixes in so well, and, and Greta is by, and ends up being in love with one of the other princesses. I'm not gonna tell you which one, there's only like four of them, but she's in love with one of the princesses in our age group, and I just, it blew my mind when I found this out. I was like, you're looking for a slight twist to young adult dystopian definitely this is a good book um, i'm really looking forward to the sequel i'm not sure when it comes out because it's a 2015 release um, hopefully soon i don't know um i will probably let you know in the comment section down below once i have know the release date i'll have to look it up i really i really enjoyed this book i thought it was a really good book um i'm just the surprise factor to it and the the difference that it had to so many other books that I've read was just more than enough reason for me to pick up this book. And I didn't expect that. I saw this review on Poland Banana's books, and she said it was a really good book, but she didn't really, I didn't watch the spoiler part, but this book was so surprising and so shocking and so wonderful. I just, I loved the, I loved it so much. In style is really good. There was nothing that I was really disappointed to happen in this book. Um, I kind of want to see this and stuff with AIs as like a major plot point. And I kind of want to see a relationship bud between Greta and AIs on campus because she has like this really good AI friend, Father Abbott, and I kind of want to see more AI stuff with her. And the next book is set up for that because <laughs> it ends with AIs and everything. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to that. And I cannot wait for the second book in this series. Hopefully it's a series. If it's just a sequel, I won't, I'll be okay with that because sequels are usually okay. But 
yeah, if this is a trilogy, like, I'm looking forward to it. If it's just a sequel, looking forward to it. If it's a whole series, I will be buying all of them. Because it's not very thick. It's a really good breed. It wasn't too expensive. Dollars Canadian, which... <laughs> Yeah, I guess it's kind of a lot, but I mean, you probably get a used copy from like thrift books or um, some overstock book site, book director I think sells them. It's for cheaper, so you can probably get them over there. I don't know what the Amazon price is, but yeah, definitely a book I would pick up if you're interested in anything like that. Um, it does feel like more middle grade fiction, um, has a little, the younger side tinge to it, uh, even though it's older people, I just, I felt like I was... I was older than the characters at this point, and I just I didn't really relate much as I wanted to, but even so, with that being like, I was 16 in the book, I still, like, I was, I still enjoyed it. I still really, really loved the book. It's a great author, Erin. You're doing great. If you're interested in picking up this book, I will post links to the Canadian and American stuff down in the doobly-doo. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button already, you can go ahead and click it down below. Click it hard. As always, my name is Fallon. I post videos every weekend. And thank you all of my lovelies for hanging out with me on this beautiful sunny day.